The following is a presentation of Play Fly Sports Properties and Michigan State Sports Properties. It's Tuesday, September 5th, 2023. You know what that means? It's our one-year anniversary, baby. One year. This is Sparta MSU. Welcome to the only show about Spartan Dogs, hosted by Spartan Dogs. This is Sparta MSU. I'm your host, Jason Strayhorn, along with my co-host, the boss, Otis Wiley, and J.U. Choo Choo Culcrit. This is your first time here. We want to welcome you. If this is not your first time as always we thank you all the loyal listeners especially you guys have been here since day one a year has flown by we've have been having a blast and we'd love to continue this train rolling let us know where you're watching from and also don't forget to click that like and subscribe more subs baby we gotta have them we're a year in and we're getting it moving so let's keep the train rolling guys happy anniversary <laughs> oh yeah, hey, look, it's, it's like life. I don't, I don't even remember. <laughs> oh, that's what today is. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, today is your anniversary, baby. That Tony, 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 right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> right. We 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 would, would play that, but uh, you know, we'd probably get, you know, the the YouTube guys would come oh, down and hey, shut us down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, Otis, you, you your tunes is too good. You might get us flagged. Uh, right. Uh, like, that's the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, that was Tony on your show. <laughs> Tony, Tony, Tony. Man, guys, look, it's a celebration all the way around. Michigan State is the winner in their home opener over Central Michigan, 31 to 7. Guys, it was a outstanding performance. It started off a little slow, but here we got some breakdown right here. Noah Kim, 18 to 31 for 279 yards, two touchdowns. I mean, Nate Carter. Look! Oh, look at that. Shayu Sons <laughs> lead the list. I wonder who put that list together. <laughs> Papa Chu. Uh, you, you know, you know who put that list together? Their on-field play. Just like, <laughs> just like I said, we talked about it. I touted those boys, and those boys came and they showed up and they showed <laughs> out. <laughs> just like a dog said, showed out. <laughs> you know, you know, I, I couldn't wait. Let's I call it wait right. Today. I, I know you could. I know you could. Because, like, last time, you know, we talked <laughs> about the killer bees. He was like, eh. No, um, no, no. My, my, my boys this year, they're the truth. Now, let's, let's, <laughs> let's, like, and I, we're going to ask him when he comes on on the second, second uh, block here. But if the receivers would have caught some of those wide open passes that right into the bread basket, no, would have, would have had more, obviously. Uh, but we talked about kind of getting warmed up that first half feel. But look, he oh look, I think right there, hey, and sure you was what you where you get it when that touchdown happened. It wasn't like the Malik Carr one, right? No, no, no. But the, the, the thing about this one here, the thing that I love about this play right here, and it it just shows how ready Noah Kim is for this next level here. Because in a post-game interview, he said that wasn't the called play, he saw a look and checked into that play. And you notice last year, there was some times we were like, damn, why'd you stay in there? Why didn't you check out of that? Play? This, he checked into that play. Players, not plays. And that's what, that's the results right there. Oh, I know we could deep dive on like that first, in the first half when we're going in and we could have easily took a knee, ran in, but like, why not take a shot? And obviously, Montori had that in his hands to hit him right in his face, right? Yeah. But like, we took a shot. Like, we talk about aggressiveness. We talk about a switch of just quickness of, like, we don't care. Let's just go ahead and air it out. Uh, you just saw that that confidence in Noah. Uh, and I and I, I love that we got him at the, at the quarterback spot because, like, that's a huge change from last year. And, you know, no knock to who we had last year. It's just a huge change. And there's a breath of fresh air, knowing that he's going out there, he's competing, putting the team on his back. 
let's uh i know we're gonna talk more about that Absolutely. with noah but straight like, can we can we straight can we talk about my guy oh man we gotta talk about the run game baby you know <laughs> western new york rochester garbage plate worthy the performance of nate carter this is a look at him right here first, first play, play out here yeah, I thought he was gonna take that. That was the first play. I'm I thought sure, he was gonna I'm take sure that. Did. I'm sure he did too. We all wanted that. That's that would have been a K nine re reunion rewind. Right. First that touch. Was I was thinking. <laughs> incredible yeah, performance by him. Absolutely but. incredible performance by Nate Carter. And you know, shout out to you know the the offensive line. You know, they they were getting pushed up front there. And uh, but what I love about Nate is his burst. His quick in and out of the cuts that he does and uh you know i i love this this two this combo here i think burger found the right spot from he's more of the pass catcher out of the two nate's the runner i would love to see mangum become that big back so when we go for it on fourth down he can come in there and uh and really you know pick those big those uh, short yardage do the choo-choo do the choo-choo <laughs> is that what you gotta do Lee? yeah you gotta do the choo-choo back him up back him up baby <laughs> No, I just like how smooth, like he, like he's gliding when he's running. Like you saw that run where, you know, of course you see him hit the sidelines. Like go ahead, take it to the house. But like he running back, it just like he just he's just a gliding dude. Like he's just stopped. Uh, offensive line. Let's talk about those tight ends, man. Those tight ends was a committee of blocking. Um, you saw guys legitimately putting their helmet into the chest and open up those windows and those holes for the uh, for, for Nate and, and Berger. So. Uh, I think once we got the groove going, it was legitimately like a smooth, like we had control. Like we knew like all cylinders, offensive, quarterback, running backs, defense, really, you know, we can get on that. Let's go to the next one because I, I want to start breaking down. Like I'm like, let's get to it. Or hey, let's no, no, break it down. It down. You're good, man. I like the excitement. Oh. No, this is all good. I mean, 406 yards of total offense from Michigan State in 64 plays, and they held Central Michigan – the 219 total yards on 66 plays. So I, I think it was a great balanced performance, 279 coming through the air through Noah Kim's arm all the way through, and then 127 on the ground. It was roughly 147, but there was some kneel downs at the end of the game that does go against your rushing totals. So we talked about it in the pregame. You know, you wanted to get over that 150-yard rushing mark. I think when you add Mangum back in, as you were talking about there, Chew, or, you know, you break a couple – runs here or there you're going to get that you're going to start to see that and this week for sure against richmond you look to see even more gaudy numbers on the ground and noah kim i mean what can you guys say about him we're going to talk about him in a minute but defensively otis talk about that secondary tackling oh listen man look i called up chuck he ain't answered typical chuck but <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll call me back or he'll text but then 2-1. I had I had a call 2-1. There he is. One, let, let's talk about like the edge setting. Like this man finds a way to get to the legs of the of the running back or the whoever's receiver. You know, you look at these two edge guys, 2-1, Dylan Tatum and, and Chuck. Uh once you got corners coming up, eating, hitting the run, stopping the run, um, everything kind of falls in itself. Like the running backs can't hit the outside. So when you see them coming up, and I'm talking coming up, like Dylan came up a couple of times just saying, hello, thank you, ma'am, sir. Like, he had that vengeance of, like, I'm out here. Like, I'm here, basically. Chuck Chuck does what Chuck does, right? Now, there is a – I wish we had – I wish I'd have got this clip, but it was – I was watching film again, and it's a third quarter where we go dime package, mm -hmm. and – Malik is the Malik comes down to like almost a spy mid level like linebacker, and it was a draw and he came straight up and I'm talking lay the wood on this running back, and and that's where I see these young guys like it's a difference like it's a difference they want to come up and hit like versus like hey you know let it break through the line and you know off to the races but it was a committee the defensive back wise we only had one little hiccup and that was a deep drag where Mangum. Kind of got lost in the sauce and eyes different ways going going far left when it kind of came across and you know we we let that we let that go we let it go amnesia defensive backs have amnesia you got to go to the next play and you saw that where you know we locked it down for the rest of the game so shout out to my boys the secondary baby like now I put a star on Kyle Halliday right 
if it wasn't for Kyle getting that interception, mm-hmm. like there was some momentum of Central Michigan's offense getting some momentum. And when that deflection from the defensive line, he comes up and snags it for for interception. That wasn't D line. Like that, that wasn't no D line deflection. Who's that? That was Who's Jello. That? Oh, it was. Yeah, I know. I mean, they the way, the way Jello was active. Yeah, the way Jello was active, he like, <laughs> everywhere, right? <laughs> yep. Look at it. You're right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, originally like, the, uh, the 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 uh, people in the stadium actually said it was. Uh, I think they said it was Derek Harmon that tipped it, but then we saw the replay and saw it was Jello. Jello played lights out too, just giving him some props. Absolutely. Go ahead. Absolutely. Yeah. Look, Jello at first, like back to back, like last season, we was we just didn't know which Jello went out there, right? We didn't right, know which right. gross. Like it was kind of hit or miss, inconsistent. But he was a main factor, determining factor of, of coming out there and making solid plays on third and long. Um, I mean, obviously, let's talk about Jacoby Women. Like, go ahead, guys. Go ahead. We already know Jacoby's to be a Jacoby. Oh, man, just just the uh, Big Ten, the highest rated linebacker in the Big Ten, I think by pro football focus. There it is right here. Top rated linebacker in the Big Ten during week one, 83.6% per pro football focus. I mean, the pro football focus is becoming the Bible for everyone. Here it is. Hey, right. Recorded 83. Look, that's the best defensive grade in the, in the country. Okay, sixth best in the country, but first in the Big Ten. Two defensive stop, a sack. No completions allowed. I mean, he was all over the field. Uh, you know, didn't make a lot of sacks. I think he had one sack. But he had one, he, sack. He had one sack. And when we did get the three sacks, we're going to more on that in a moment. Trigger promotion for IHOP. Cal Ferrer joins the show in a minute. But, look, Jacoby Winden and Cal Halliday had a great game. And Brule. Look, Brule was balling. Jordan Hall got in the game. True freshman. I mean, that linebacker, that second level – was playing great. We talked about the secondary. That second level played up to the billing that we all talked about, and we knew that they were going to be one of the strongest units in, on the entire team. But when you talk about that front, that defensive line, you know, you got Simeon Barrow. He comes out, took a lot of double teams, make, got a sack early in the ball game there. But then, you know, when I looked, I, I couldn't take my eyes off of 99, the big fella, the big transfer out of Colorado, Jalen Sami. You talk about a guy coming in in the second team, 6'7", 330 pounds. I seen this guy. I think he was walking around Pizza House after yeah. the game. Yeah. Hey, hey, you saw him, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. That's a man right there. <laughs> and no His wonder <laughs> the Central Michigan guards were having trouble you know, keeping the line of scrimmage with him. He's pushing everybody backwards. So, you know, that along, I mean, there was a lot of guys making plays out there. Zion Young, I mean, he was setting the edge himself, playing contained, very smart football player, youngster out of Georgia. And Brandon Wright was in there, Tunamise, Hanson. I mean, look at this. Look, it's just, it's just. Look at that, boy. Look at that, setting oh, the man. edge. I mean, man. Look at now, that. here's here's one thing, as a defensive guy watching and I mean, obviously in live time on Friday, our angle of pursuits, our angle of pursuits, we just got to improve on because there's times where we should definitely have more tackles for loss and more, more sacks, but it was the angles of pursuit that kind of go too shallow and then quarterback leaks out. Um, I feel like that's the only knock is just keeping him in, in you know, inside the pocket, just like this, keeping him beautiful. inside the pocket contained on every, situ- every, every way. So I, that's the only one downfall that, we'll have to improve on in week two is angle, pursuit, make sure we're all right and we're all lanes to get it right. Yeah, I agree with you on that, Otis. I, I think that 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 is why you, you saw a couple, you know, missed tackles and stuff like that, but it was that angle of pursuit that didn't put themselves in their in that right position to, you know, make the plays there. But overall, I, I stated this, you know, at the beginning, I think our defense is going to shock a lot of people. I think our defense is going to be one of the leading forces to carry us, you know, this season. And, uh, it was really it was really cool to see, you know, a guy like Dalen Tatum, like we talked about. He Ooh. was ready to play. He was absolutely ready to play. He came out, he was hitting, he was flying around. Our secondary, you saw, you see exponential amount of growth in that secondary with at every position in that secondary compared to where we were last year in the first game. So that is something our linebackers, I think Jacoby Winman playing that linebacker position full time last year, he started on the, on the D line, then worked some stuff. 
you know, playing that linebacker position full time, I think that's absolutely key. Our defensive front, we can rotate three deep in that defensive front. They keep, continue to come and bring the pressure every single time. It was really fun to watch that defense play. And you saw little sparks of like when Duke Narduzzi was here, guys were excited to fly around to the football. You, you seen, you know, five, six, seven hats on the football, you know, showing up in the screen. Those are things that, you know, that's going to come to, and when you get into those later months, that's yeah, going to when we play Penn happen. State, the Kings of screens. <laughs> yes, exactly. Absolutely. Those are the things. And, you know, talk about, you know, the screens and staying home on that reverse. You know, we had our, our DN staying home and not chasing that quarterback down and, you know, making that go for a big play. That was Zion Young, right? right? That was that's it. right. That's, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Contain, he kept it, so which is, I mean, that's a mature things. maturation. Excellent. Guys, you know, talking about those linebackers, let's let's look at the radio call from the booth and watching Cal Halliday on that interception here. 34, second down and five. Emmanuel takes the shotgun snap. Fires right side. It is tipped and picked. Intercepted at the 31-yard line. Cal Halliday makes another big-time Spartan play. Oh, that boy George! Look at that boy George! Look at George! What? Oh man! Got the GoPro in the booth. Boom! He saw it on Reddit. Man, <laughs> man, you know what? We gotta get that second vantage point. Put another yeah, GoPro so in the way. Look at that! Yeah, yeah, you can see it. Absolutely. That's, we're gonna work on that. Come on, hey, Tony G. Saturday, yeah. Saturday. Come on, Tony G. Yeah, we're going to make it work. We're going to make it work, baby. One one position group we have not really touched on at length is the wide receiver group. And Mel Tucker talked a lot about them in this clip here. We have, like you said, we have multiple targets. We have multiple guys that can make plays. Um, I mean, Fitzpatrick can make plays. Trey Mosley can make plays. Glover can make plays. Gates can make plays. Tyrell Henry can make plays. You know, Burger can make plays. You know, this goes on and on. You know what I mean? We have, you know, guys that, you know, they can make plays. So um, we don't have to worry. We don't have to concern ourselves with that. Just run the offense, get the ball where it's supposed to go, execute, and, and just keep chopping. Just keep chopping. I mean, he just ran down a whole laundry list of guys who did make plays. Uh, you know, you talked a little bit about Tyrell Henry and that, but, like, guys, there were a lot of great performances out there on the wide receiver end. And, you know, look, Jerron Glover – after Central Michigan goes up seven to three in the ball game, as you talked about, Otis got got lost in the secondary with bad eye control, fellas. Noah Kim and company comes out and they answer with an eighty-four so yard drive, three catches for Jerron Glover in that one series for seventy-five yards. Mm -hmm. I mean, this the was that was it this shoulder on that first? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but but, but, but it was yeah, yeah it was up yeah, yeah, located yeah. over yeah. And then he hits the other one on the end, other side. It's just like, I this is going to work for our favor as we get down later in the season when you have multiple guys that make plays where you can't just single in on one guy. Like you can't, like because everybody's going to get open and they got to make a play. Like I do, I do believe Trey could have played obviously at his at, at a better Trey Mosley. But when that happens, look at the other guys coming out. And when he talked about this is going to be a a committee. This is going to be a committee. Look at I this just one. like look, no, with the, mm, no. Oh, that's Fitzpatrick. And we were talking. Shouldn't shouldn't he have stayed left? Yes, right? yes. Right, we right, talked right, about right, it. Right, right. Yes, just sprint to the pylon, yeah, baby. Absolutely. Trust your speed. Looking back, you yeah. lose you lose speed going like that. I wish we had that 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 pass that you're talking about. That chimney ball, that shot there. <laughs> that's well, exactly you know what I call the chimney ball, yeah. right? Yeah, because yeah, Santa's too flat to fit down the chimney. He just drops the presents. It's a chimney ball shot. <laughs> <laughs> and but look, but look, no, I, I can't wait to get. But Noah has that like smooth, like, huh, like, uh, ooh, get you, get you looking like, oh, bite on the uh, out and up, right? <laughs> I'm not throwing it out, <laughs> you know, like smooth. smooth I know we got we got to jump, but I got to give a shout out, you know, because people say I'm 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 not I'm not fair with a kicker, yes. Jonathan Kim. Oh, oh the hey, other kid, the other kid, <laughs> Jonathan Hill. John, no, 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 no. Uh, no, no, no. You can't go there with it. God forbid. It hit, hits what, a 48 yarder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm surprised you didn't run out. I'm surprised you didn't run out on the field. Like, let's go. 
I did dab him up though. You did? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> chew. That's huge. I don't know if Mr. Kim knows about that, Jonathan. <laughs> That's big. You gotta dab up from Chew. Guys, you know, we're gonna move it on here because we got a jam-packed show. We got a couple guests that we gotta get on. We would be remiss if we did not discuss what everybody there's a topic going on about Lante Brown. He took a shot in the opening kickoff return of the game. He goes down. He gets put in traction, goes into the tunnel, and he comes back out and actually plays in the first half at the end of the game and return the kick. Uh, people are saying, guys, like, oh, you know, he, he was concussed, and why did they let him back on? Somebody's head's got to roll. But that's not the full story from what we understand. Chu, you were down there on the field. You saw that at a vantage point that not a, many people got a chance to see him. What did you see? Um, yeah, you know, um, you know, like I t we talked about on the broadcast there, he, he was uh, stretchered off. But when he got in the tunnel, he did, you know, hop off the cart and sprinted to the x-ray room. So they went and they did the full checkup on him and everything like that. Um, and he did, like you said, he did come back into the game. And, you know, Coach Tucker said, you know, he, he relies on the training staff you know, to help with those decisions and everything like that. Um, so, you know, that's all you can go by. That's why the training staff is there. That's their role. It's not the coaches' roles to go and evaluate players when it comes to injuries, but it's their, it's their it, you know, they, they have to trust the training staff because they are all, you know, in, working in one direction. Listen, I'll, I've had concussions. I don't know if y'all have concussions. Uh, I'm assuming you, since you you played, you may have. Anywho, not on record. Not on record, right? <laughs> um, yeah, I've had I had a lot that NFL yeah. concussion settlement. I've had tons. <laughs> Ooh, where are we? Who are we? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, don't, don't, yeah, yeah. I've had I've had some bad ones. Obviously, I, I can testify. You ain't all the way there all the time. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> but they, the concussion protocol and the test, if it is tough to pass it if you are very if you're concussed. Like clearly, they went through everything. So leave it up to the professionals, leave it up to the training staff. Like if he was not ready, they would not put him out there. Like I, I recall like having a boxer delay. Like I hit somebody, came to the sideline, passed out. Yeah, I'm done. Like there's no way I'm take his helmet. <laughs> Don't because that's the very first thing you start to do is where's my helmet? I'm trying to go back in. You you think nothing happened? You don't have any trauma. But the way he did it, it looked like it was more of a body shot versus a head collision. It was like here. So I don't one, yes, he's we're getting flack, but two, trust me, if he would have failed the concussion protocol, he would have not been out there playing. Like there's no way, shape, or form they would allow him to go out there and play. So like let's move on. But yo, know, it, it the way they did it, honestly, they should should have just got him up and walked him off the field. Like, cause if you go off on a stretcher. And it takes that long. Yeah, I think just the, the response, the response of it, we should have got him up, let him walk off on his own. Because uh, clearly, too, said he got up like Jesus the healed man, like I'm healed, ran off, right? So um, I think it's an element of just they did their job. So let's just let's just call well, so, it what it is. So but, you broke it down from a scientific, because, I mean, it might have been a body shot. It could have been a, a nerve, like a, yeah. a bad stinger. Cause he fell down kind of mm -hmm. awkward and it looked ugly. But for me, the litmus test is when Mama Nim was down there. When Mama Nim, Mama Nim was down there, I'm watching from the booth, and I see her run up. You know, Coach yes, Tuck is right there standing Mama, over. Him. I let Mama and through the gate. You so let her in. I don't get fired for it, but I let her through the gate. Like, <laughs> well, like, I know if, my, if I was down, I want my mama to come Mama, say what's up. Yeah, better let Mama yeah. down. Yeah. So, but her reaction, her body language told the story. That if her baby was out cold or not coherent or eyes, because I mean it does it, it's scary to see somebody out. He was coherent, he was moving, she was calm, and as Chu said, he got off of the card and ran and it came back out like there was no head trauma there. So we'll just from what we could tell. No, can we like can that. we talk about how how Jack the stadium and the atmosphere was was when they ran out and they did the national anthem. I mean the highest of highs like the national anthem, the student section singing it very loud and unity strong. And that first play, like it almost felt like it was deflated. Like I feel like yeah. that get that that was like it took us a minute to get that back, like that juice. And I think that first half was those woes. But but look, he came back out and clearly was running on a kickoff return. So we we're good. 
He's back. Yeah, shout out, back. shout out, shout out to our players too for bouncing back. When you see it, your your teammate go off like that, and you don't know, you know, what's happening and everything like that, it's it's tough. But you know, shout out to the players for you know bouncing back and continuing to play. Absolutely, absolutely. it can be traumatic. You guys are absolutely right, guys. So great crowd, by the way, great crowd for everybody on Friday night, guys. Transfer portal news. The transfer portal taketh. And we would be remiss if we didn't talk about this, but Keon Coleman has a monster game, guys, on primetime on Sunday night. Nine catches, 122 yards. I think it was three touchdowns. Missed another one at the end. Quarterback held it. Should have got four. But just a monster performance for Keon down uh, in Seminole country, beating the number five ranked LSU Tigers. Yeah. You saw I text you guys like instant validation of taking a chance on himself. Uh, and getting to a situation where, like, obviously, he's thriving. Like, that was a huge testament to who Keon is. We all know Keon's a dog and can and ball. And so, him putting on the primetime lights, um, you know, it just shows a testament to who he is. I mean, that man truly, game one, has put him in the conversation right first round. And that's what he talked about. Like, y'all remember he was with us, talking with us. He's like, he's that's his goal. And he clearly has that on his mind. And and he did it. He did it in a fashion of team, though. Like it wasn't just him, right? He did yeah. it in, in, within the game. So, of course, I would love it if it was in the green and white. Clearly, but we talked. Oh, about we all it. would. We would all love that. But yeah, would those would those players been called that way for him? We don't know. But he went down there, and it shows that Coach Hawkins coaching him up. Steele's taking it down to to Tallahassee, and then getting some of that coaching. You know, it's put together a, a, a well-rounded receiver. So, kudos, Keon. Kudos, man. <laughs> kudos, brother. I wish you was here still. I still miss you, brother. I still miss you. But, man, hey, Chu, any thoughts on there? Yeah, you know, I, I saw that I watched the entire game specifically for, you know, him. And uh, I, I I was happy, you know, very happy with the game that he played. And I know you have the outside noise of, you know, people saying, you know, it's it's a detriment. It's, we need to look within our coaching staff and everything. You don't need to do that. We recruited the kid. He came here. He, 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 he helped us. He learned and he made a decision for himself and his family. I think, um, you know, you, you can't, there's nothing, you can't blame Michigan State coaches. You know, I've seen people say it's Michigan State coaches fault because they couldn't keep them. No, it's not it. He made the best decision for him and his family. And that's what, we should all respect that and we should cheer him on because he was here. He gave everything he had to us when he was playing in the green and white. Now he's in Florida state. He's given everything to the, you know, the Seminoles, you know, in that uh, maroon and gold that he has now. And, you know, you talk about you know, him staying, him going, I've been to Tallahassee. I've been to Florida state and right over there is fam. Use there too. Now, <laughs> <laughs> where, where are you going with this too? Fam, oh, you, Steve Smith, you know, great you know, point, too. <laughs> you know, there's, Florida, there's Florida State, there's FAMU. Yeah. You know, it, it's, it's a lot easier to get sucked in and stay there. So, <laughs> Interesting choice of words, man. Look, look uh, I, I, I love, there's nothing greater than a, a guy, a player, an athlete, period, that bets on themselves against a huge current of naysayers and people that was, Hey, listen, I don't, you know, even myself, like, just don't do that. You know, you, you got a great situation. Why mess it up? And you still find a way to win through that. So, I mean, I'm encouraged by it. I think it was a win-win for Michigan state. Exactly. When, He's having when, success. They're doing his thing. And our guys are having success. You absolutely. Know, these guys are having the opportunity to come out and showcase their Henry, you know, balling, yeah. like that, making plays like that Glover, fits all those guys are going to have the opportunity to come out and showcase himself it's a win-win and fam use right there too <laughs> <laughs> and ricks is open on saturday night after the game this weekend is what I'm i heard sure, i was sure hey, i was sure wait for his name and deke is very salty <laughs> when k9 bust out for that first touchdown right exactly so, so it is like you said it happens to everyone every every program um but yeah now the transport Transfer portal, give it. Take so, it. so it does we, give it too. We, look, we have your boy number five. That boy, you know, looking like Reggie Bush out there. <laughs> Two son. Ooh, that boy looking. That boy looking straight like 
Just wait. I think he still got more in his bag. Still got more. We're there talking about the UConn transfer, Nate Carter. Okay, so there, you know we we lose some through the portal. We got some from the portal too. You yeah. talked about him at length. Eighteen carries, one hundred thirteen yards, and a touch. Yeah, and you know he he came out and he played. He had a lot of he he was injured last year, and this was a year that he had a lot to prove. Um, and also too, like you got to give a shout out, Coach Reed, the running backs coach. He's been working those boys. He knew last year wasn't what they could do. Those guys now, he has the right group there. He, they're starting to formulate. They're starting to, the, to um, you know, separate themselves from the pack. There's a lot. There's a good running backs room right there. But what's starting to happen is, if you're in the training room, you're not going to get a lot of time on the field. So, and if if you're not on the field, and those other guys start balling and start going your reps are going to start shrinking and shrinking. So the, the best thing about that running backs room right now is they're going to keep pushing each other to be great. I talked to Javon uh, before the game and we're on the sidelines there. And he's like, those two guys, if they can, if they can stay together like that, they have the best one, two punch combo, you know, and we were talking about that and like similar to what we had, he feels like they can duplicate something like that. Um, so, you know, coming from Javon, you know, that's a huge compliment there. That is huge. I like that comment just came up. Said that Nate's best was the best performance by a running back in the state of Michigan. Shots that fired. That is true. That is true. Shots fired. Yes, sir. Uh, that is true. Uh, they didn't do so good down the road, but that, we'll get into that at another date. Guys, they're watching us right now over in Nova, Michigan, uh, Lake Michigan, a little town called Venice, Italy, and Qatar. They're watching us. Oh, I mean, they're all over the world. Mr. Worldwide. Mr. Worldwide. Can you believe what that? What time is it in Qatar right now? I mean, it's it's early. It's late. I'm sorry. It's really late. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Um, so, you know, before we continue, we, we've got to bring on our special guest. And it, it, since we're celebrating a one-year anniversary, it, it, we have to bring on Cal Farah from IHOP, who's been with us from the beginning. Cal, welcome back to the show. You're a friend of the show, partner of the show, obviously. Shot episode and, one for my half. Thanks, guys. <laughs> episode one, <laughs> right in location. Ooh, the milkshakes was great. Right the milkshakes was the best part of it. Huh? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> beginning, baby. Got to get it was good. <laughs> hey, Cal. So this Saturday, this past Friday, in in the coming home games, there's a new trigger promotion going on for IHOP in the stadium. Can you talk about that a little bit and share it with the fans? Yeah, so we're, we're trying to give an added incentive to the defensive line. So for every sack they get, they if they get and get three, it'll show up. Each fan at the game can get a free short stack for the next 72 hours after the game with a game ticket. Uh, purchase of a beverage, any Michigan store IHOP. Any. Any. How long? Statewide, 72 it's, hours, it's, he said, it's, after it's the good game. For every home game, and it's good for 72 hours after the game. For those so who can't three, add, well, how many day, days is that? <laughs> three sacks, three pancakes, three days. There it is. Cal, so can I, use my, can I use my credential? Because I don't have a game ticket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all you, all you got to do is walk in, man. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> He'll take the pass. <laughs> they know you by right now. <laughs> no, look, this is the best, you know, the best part is like, we all know game one is always going to be hiccups because you just got to roll with it, right? So the first time it happened, Kyle Tex was like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> the, the video board went out and I'm texting, I was like, hey, it's a system error because clearly everything is running real smoothly till this happened because we've been looking at it. was like, all right, that's the third sack. He was like, it's technically four sacks. I was like, I go, no, Kyle. It was a read option, and the quarterback yes, got the hit. Quarterback still had it, and he still because <laughs> he didn't say tackles for loss, but sacks. But no, everybody like even people that work internally that was sitting in the game. You know, they told us about like people next to him like going crazy. The kids going crazy, like free stacks, free free stacks, pancakes. Let's go. So I was even mentioning it on the radio. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think this is a great promotion, you know, and I'm quietly kind of doing something for the O-line because uh, we wanted to target one, you know, one aspect of the game. So, you know, if we open it up for everything, it's going to be a little tough. You know, you confuse messaging and whatnot. So I'm kind of doing a little something for the O-line. You know, if they prevent a sack, that's something me and Cap are talking about. But uh, 
definitely doing this for the for the D line and and trying to promote. You know, just getting there, man. You know, get home, baby. Get home. Say, That's hey, a whole defense. It ain't just a D line. Anybody can make a sack, baby. Everybody. Yeah. And the crowd can help with that too. So the louder you are, the harder it is for that quarterback to communicate. The offensive line is breakdowns, which causes sacks. Exactly. So hey, you know what's next though, Kyle? Free you, yeah. Kyle, go ahead and bring that syrup, the syrup uh, to the student section. So the <laughs> 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 syrup. syrup game, just uh, like <laughs> I just want to get one of the little portable bathtubs. <laughs> oh. The pancake platoon. The pancake oh. platoon. There Absolutely. you go. But I mean, Kyle, yeah. though, on, 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 really, though, you know, we're celebrating the one year, you know, anniversary for um, this show. And, you know, shout out to you, you know, like you're one of those people at the beginning, you know, believed in the concept, you know, of like, hey, we want to do this thing. We didn't know how it was going to work, how, you know, where, logistics, yep. anything like that. And you opened your doors, you opened, you know, you welcomed us. Um, you know, we really appreciate that. And, you know, you know you're one of the, the key components in this that keeps us going. And I really appreciate it. And also, too, shout out to what you do for the team. You know, a lot of behind the scenes, people don't see that, you know, taking food over, you know, working with the guys, you know, working with – NIL deals with those guys and everything. Really appreciate what you're what you're doing for the program as well. That helps a lot, you know, within recruiting and everything. Yeah, no, I, and I and I appreciate that, guys. I mean, it, it takes a lot that kind of goes into it. And my feeling is from the very beginning is that my love for MSU, you know, being a graduate, love for football, you know, you know, my best friends, you know, over here doing it. So it's it's a blind faith walking in, put your faith in God and kind of continue forward. And you know what I get, I give back. So if I can get a little, you know, I get back a little, and that's the way it goes. I mean, it's a, it's got to be mutually beneficial for both of us to kind of continue this. So, um, and it, and it's worked out well. I mean, we've been blessed. You know, here we are a year later and still kicking. Oh man, Look, I'm just waiting on those numbers. Like how many people visited the IHOP stores after that one? I mean, I just I just waiting on it. I just want to know. I just want to know. I'm looking. It's like. <laughs> I got I got to put the pressure on the other groups because I mean I'm coming in at ninety percent. I'm like, come on. Pitching, just pitching. Come yeah, on, absolutely, man. absolutely. So no, it's, we it's appreciate working. we appreciate it, man. Like this, this is gonna catch fire, uh, yeah. especially if we start putting the word out um, some more. So definitely appreciate yeah, you. Hey, Kyle. we're rolling the dice, man. We got four home games in the month of September. It's like, man, <laughs> it's, it's, yes, it's, sir. Let's do station. it. Hop on or move. <laughs> yeah, how, many, really how many pancakes man. come in a short stack? Three, three. So three, oh. three, three. Okay, okay. You didn't see that? You didn't see that <laughs> animation in the video? <laughs> no, I didn't video. know how many came. Is that a short stack? So there it is again. Wait, wait, wait. We'll, we'll play the game for you. Pleasure, everybody on YouTube. There you go. This is C three, <laughs> three. You thought the butter? You thought the butter was a little silver dollar? <laughs> uh, I need I need more butter than that on my pancakes. By the way, extra <laughs> butter, extra syrup. Cal's got it for you. He's got yeah, it. Hey, Cal, man, we really appreciate it, man. Thank you for yeah, everything no that you're doing. Uh, and look, look forward to some more NIL deals here coming soon. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Cal Fair, everybody. I hop. And by the way, speaking of I hop, here's a we're gonna get to Noah Kim after this message from our friends over at IHOP and SeatGeek. Introducing new buttermilk biscuits in sweet and savory flavors. So everyone can have their perfect biscuit. Or add one on the side. Get a breakfast biscuit sandwich with a side for just $7 for a limited time. SeatGeek is the ticketing app for fans like the High Five Strangers guy. Game-winning interception. First down. Just a nice, solid tackle. If you're in arm's length, you will be swapping skin with this extrovert. You see, he knows SeatGeek got him a great deal on tickets, so we can focus on what he does best. Smacking palms. SeatGeek handles the tickets to sports, concerts, and more, so fans can fan. Well, guys, I mean, we got the IHOP and the Seat Geeks dropping them pancakes all over the chat. Love that. Guys, without further ado, we got to bring on him. That's Noah Kim, QB1 from Michigan State, joins us as part of MSU. What's going on? Hey, there he is. Oh, there he is. is. There hey, he you is. Little, hey, you got there that swag is. about you. <laughs> What's going yeah, on, Noah? He probably took a nap while waiting on to get from backstage. Probably took a nap, huh? 
Yeah, I'm almost. Talk about. It was a almost. Day. I'm a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies, Noah. Hey, so look, you got your first start on Friday. You know, as QB one, no one really knew what was going on, but I, I'm sure you knew before the game that you were going to be the one that got the nod. <laughs> Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, I think I, I was told like a week or so, like a week and a half before the game. And uh, so that whole practice week leading up to the game and stuff, we we all knew and stuff. So Now, now talk about, you know, everybody saw the game when, you know, you kind of had the jitters in the beginning. I don't know if it was used personally or the team, everybody to collectively. But talk about how you were able to settle down and focus in the middle of 75,000 fans. It's your first start. You've got family in from home in Virginia and you settled down and just like rocked it, man. 279 yards. Yeah, I think it was, uh, I think it was interesting. You know, you go into a game and, you know, first game of the season, you're expecting a perfect game. Everyone's balling, you know, you hope you run for 300 yards, you pass for 300 yards, you know, you, you just expect a perfect game, but in a game like that, um, you know, I got missed throws on my end. You got dropped passes. You know, we got stopped on fourth and one and stuff like that. You know, things aren't going your way. Um, you got to find a way to, you know, just kind of just really just focus on the next play. That's really what our whole mentality was. And uh, the good thing was, you know, everyone was on the same page where no one was freaking out and because we all knew. All we got to do is just clean up a little stuff. And once we do that, we're going to be just fine. And you saw that going into the end of the first half, into the second half. And, uh, you know, everything else started clicking from there. Yeah, no, you – I remember on the side walking, you know, past the side, you guys came off and you are just – you're telling the guys, we're good, we're good. And, you know, kept reiterating that to the team. And when you guys came out – and I felt like it really started clicking when we went into that two-minute drill and going – that tempo is that more of your game do you like the tempo uh kind of offense or are you more tr the traditional want to huddle get everyone settled down and go from there yeah we haven't been too much of a huddle team but um yeah i think at times being like up tempo is just good as an offense i think uh it's hard on the defense to get their calls and you know get what they run what they want to run you know they scout you especially central michigan they probably scouted us for months so um, you know, they have specific calls and what they like. And so getting the team, you know, their coach is not being able to get all their calls in and stuff like that definitely helps a little bit and uh, build some momentum up. But, you know, um, something I just want to – something I focus on is just whatever we're doing, just executing the play that Coach Johnson calls. And, uh, you know, we, we were able to do that, you know, better in the second half. Go ahead. Yeah, all right. So talk, talk about that halftime speech because clearly, like, we, we started getting a little moving, and then, you know, you took that shot down there, which I feel like should have been a caught touchdown, but you threw it right on the money. Uh, but talk about the halftime speech, because clearly I came out second half, and it was it was on a popping. But talk about, you know, what was said in there by Coach, Coach Tuck, Coach Johnson. Talk about that. Yeah, I think that's uh, one of those stressful situations. You know, you go into halftime, you're – well, I think it was – I don't remember the score. I think it was 10-3 maybe. Um, yeah. mm -hmm. And it's like, you know, you, you could – some teams you may walk in and they're like, what are we doing, freaking out and stuff like that. But I think uh, what's great about this team is we walked into the locker room and everyone was kind of silent. And everyone was just like – because we knew what we had in store coming out in the second half. We knew all we needed to do was just clean up little mistakes. And so going into the locker room, just talking with the old lines, like you guys keep doing what you – you guys are playing great. You guys are blocking well. I have all day to throw. There's nothing you need to change. Just keep doing what you're doing. And everyone else is going to make the plays, and we're going to get this thing rolling. And so, um, you know, the receivers, they no, Trey Mosley wasn't freaking out. Malik wasn't freaking out. You know, the guys that, you know, you count on, nobody was freaking out. And so I think that just shows a lot about this team and how player-led we are and, um, you know, something that we continue to go with in the future. Yeah, so I know before halftime, let's go. Let's go back to the first half. There, things weren't going as well, and you, you're my guy, Noah. So I, you know, I feel I can ask this. There were some boos coming out of the, the stands. I, how did did you even hear them, or did you like? What did you, you know? What was that like? You know, you're three series in, and the home crowds are starting to boo and become impatient. Yeah, um, I mean. 
as I didn't hear it too much. I did hear it like I think I heard it once, but honestly, it kind of fired me up because I'm like, all right, y'all, y'all want to boo us? All right, let's 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 turn it around then. And so that I don't know, it kind of it kind of fired me up, and you know, just it kind of showed that you know, as a team, we got to play for each other, and at the end of the day, we don't have to prove anything to anybody. Uh, we we proved everything we need to within ourselves at practice, and um, so. That's that's what it was. It's just play for each other because we all know we can make these plays. Um, you know, the fans haven't seen seen us play, and this is the first time they see us play. And so, you know, everything that they're watching is based on last season right now. So it's our job to just go out there and play. Noah, you, you just, just touched on something right there. You, you know, sometimes, you know, you see pressure to burst pipes, right? It burst pipes, and sometimes it can create diamonds. You know, we've been around a lot of athletes, and some guys seem to really thrive on the pressure. You just described the booze make you – you say, okay, let's go. And i seen you take a, a late hit out of bounds too, and you bounced right up, and it seemed like you got more energized from that. Your pops bounced right up too. <laughs> <laughs> Papa Kim, when he's playing that. <laughs> Can you recall where that where you recognize that that kind of got you going in your athletic career or just in your personal life? Uh, I, to be honest, I don't know. I, I remember doing martial arts as a kid, and um, you know, every, all all martial arts is basically you versus just another person. It's just one on one stuff like that, and so everything. Um, like motivation wise is internal. And so um, I thought it was just, I don't know. I thought it was just at a young age. I kind of had that instilled in me and then um, just going into football and stuff like that. It just carried over except at a higher level because you have teammates with you. And so um, they could feed off my energy. And so that's something I hope I bring to the team, you know, every day in practice and in games, you know, they could feed off my energy because I'm going to always create energy for myself. Look, they still haven't seen the bag that you got in the run game, too. So, which is which is great. Like, it's great to 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 keep that keep it guessing. Uh, I'm I'm more impressed, and I want to give you you know credit where credits due is you shared the rock evenly. Like, it wasn't you know looking at one guy staring him down. You was you was looking at every progression, and I think that was a huge testament to like, obviously how you've been trained. Uh, but also, you know, this was this these games were won in the summertime. And so, you know, talk about how if is that a focal point for you in your game is sharing the rock evenly? Because, yeah, you got one receiver that may have an advantage all the time. But, you know, that pass, that double. I talked about your smooth, you know, double pump to Fitz. You know, talk about just sharing the wealth and, and the rock evenly. Yeah, for sure. I mean, as a quarterback. You're going to get all the hate and all the love. And so I think my job, just just me personally, I don't think that um, the, like all, all the love should go to me because at the end of the day, these all my receivers and running backs and tight ends, they're making the plays for me. All I got to do is throw it to them. That's my job. And so when I'm dropping back there, I'm going to throw it to the open man because, I mean, I've seen it in practice already. Every single one of our guys can make plays. You know, Brian – He's a sophomore, but you see in a game, he's going to – he makes the plays. Tyrell Henry, he's going to make the plays. Yeah, they're both sophomores, but they're out there for a reason. And, uh, you know, I've thrown to them in practice hundreds of times now. So, you know, I, I'm trusted that every single person in our program right now can make, you know, plays as long as I get it to them, and that's my job. So, so no, you – you know, that, that touchdown, that, you know, everyone's going to talk about that catch by Henry there. But you set that up. Can you talk – Talk us through like what you saw to because you said you changed into you checked into that play, correct? Can, yeah. can, can you talk us into, you know, without, you know, telling us how the sausage is made? Uh, <laughs> you know, what did you see that is like, OK, hey, I'm going to go to my guy over here. Yeah, I just saw Tyrell and that guy one on one, basically. And it was just something that uh, it was just kind of in the moment. I was just like, all right, well, I think Tyrell can beat him. I think he can make this play. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I just gave Tyrell like all right, I just looked at him, gave him the thing and uh let him do his thing out there and go get the ball. <laughs> Yo, like I mean, Here's a click of it right here. Stop it right here. <laughs> oh man, with the flag, by the way, <laughs> pass interference. So this is you what know, you saw. You said the we slide. Had, we had Tyra. Oh man. Well, oh man, he was dusted before he was. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first of all, his mouthpiece in that. 
That just knows you're not ready. So <laughs> um, moment's too big. <laughs> but, right. He's like, you know, he even put his mouth in. Uh, you know, we had Tyrell on and he he talked about like, you know, this is our time to step up. You know, there's a there's a lot of catches out on the table when you know Keon went down to Tallahassee. And so uh Tyrell said, you know, this is what he's gonna do, right? Like, and I, I it's good to see it come to fruition uh of guys that came on this show. And talked about it, and went out there and, and, were, and were about it. So, uh, I, I I can't I can't wait to look at the other stuff, man. Like I can't wait to Richmond, but I definitely can't wait to watch the game in Richmond. I know you're gonna let it loose too. So, <laughs> so um, my thing for you is, last year you were the backup, and going into the week, you knew, hey, I. I still got to practice like I'm the starter. Everyone says all those cliche and everything, but, but you know, I'm not starting the game. When we kick off and the offense runs out there, I'm going to be sitting in the back watching from the side to help out Peyton. Now you're the starter. What's your mindset and what's your week like, you know, as the starting QB? Yeah, it's pretty busy. I mean, I'm watching a lot of film, uh, just have obligations that I didn't have last year. But, um, you know, honestly, I think I think it uh, when, to simplify everything, I think it's pretty much the same. It's just at the end of the day, we're playing ball. And so you want to perform at the highest ability that you can. And so all the preparation that I do is 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 for that. And it's for this team because I got to be on my best. I, I got to be on my best game every single week for my team. And, uh, you know, I, I trust that my whole team does the same thing for me. And because um, that's the only way this ship's going to sail. And uh, that's that's really it. It's just playing ball. And so you got to be as prepared as possible. Yeah. And no, no, real quick. <laughs> people don't know. People don't know. Because look, two, 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 like two. Obviously, we know two loves you, right? So two <laughs> loves the kids. He loves you. Um, everybody doesn't know that we get graded, right? This is a this is a this is a business, but we get a grade at the end of the game, mm-hmm. you know, Personally, how did you grade yourself? But then also with film and coaching staff, what was your grade from you know from from last Friday? Uh, from the coaching, I to be honest, I don't even remember the grade I got. I'm, I'm I, I moved on to Richmond. I, you know, I, I got I, you. Yeah. After the game, I I just watched I watched the game film after, and then uh, on Sunday I started watching. On to the next one. Yeah, I was I was watching Richmond on Sunday, and uh, but I think. Uh, it's hard to put a grade on, you know, just my performance and the team's performance, but I thought um, we we definitely left a lot of plays out on the field for one, and so we have a lot of improvement to make, um, and you know, hopefully we show that on Saturday, and two, we made some great plays, and so we have some we have some really good players on this team, and um, you know, I'm excited for them, and uh, you know, I, I'm hoping to get out there and play with them again, and uh, you know, you know, raise it up another notch. No, as an offensive player, you're the quarterback. You're QB one on this team. Tell the people what it means to the offense when you're watching the defense play the kind of game that they played out there on Friday night. Yeah, that definitely helps us. I mean, it definitely fueled us a little bit as well because, you know, you see your teammates out there and they're battling and, um, you know, the defense is making stop after stop. Um, No matter what the score was, you know, they weren't over here complaining either. They were going out there and getting the business so that adds fuel to us, you know, they're working hard. So we got to, we got to reward them for their hard work. And, um, you know, hopefully, you know, we could put the ball in the end zone a few more times so that they can, uh, don't have to worry about us too much. <laughs> so no, uh, you know, the three of us, Otis, Jason, and myself, we all played this game. We played at Michigan state, me coming out. I came from a small home, t- uh, small hometown with 26 kids feel, you know, I had to represent my hometown Stray from Indianapolis had to represent Naptown. Otis from Flint, a lot of great legacy, a lot of great athletes coming had to represent. You made history this week. You know, you were the first Asian American quarterback to start a Big Ten game. How how cool, one, how cool is that? And how proud are you about that for kids that look like you? Yeah, I'm 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 very proud and honored to do that. Uh, you know, I'm blessed to play this sport and uh to wear the last name Kim on the back of my jersey. There's a lot of uh you know, there's a lot of other Kims out there, and I know my grandfather is uh, proud of me for, uh, you know, going out there and wearing that name proudly. And, you know, I hopefully, uh, you know, I can inspire a lot of other Kims and, you know, other Asian Americans out there, um, 
you know, because this is a great game. You know, you never you never anybody can play this game. And so, uh, you know, that's the message I want to send out there, you know, and, you know, hopefully we can keep this thing rolling because it's something good. So you have another Kim on the team. Both of you guys are from Virginia, but there's no relation. <laughs> no, no relation. <laughs> Did y'all know each other at all? Or, or no? Like, no, we didn't know each that's other. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, the first day he walked in, I remember I was just like, hey, let's just, if people ask, let's just say we're cousins. You gave that nod. Like, yeah, yeah, okay. That's awesome. <laughs> so, no, you got some accolades, some awards back home this week didn't you yeah i was uh i was informed today i i didn't even know i got i got that but that was pretty cool <laughs> what, what award is that if you want to elaborate ju you, you know something yeah it's the washington dc coaches club you know they do their weekly you know athlete and noah was the one this is the trophy actually that he won as the player of the year back when he was in high school uh, playing out there and yeah. won some couple awards, and he even beat out uh, Caleb Williams uh, for those things. So, I mean, Spartan Nation, so we're, we're our future's bright. I like look, no, no, you a hey, you a humble guy, man. Look, right, Coach D, Coach Caleb D will Williams. love you because look, pride, pride comes before the fall, my man. You staying humble like that, I like that, really love like guy. That. He's a Coach D guy. Too. I know he is. I know he is. I said he, Coach D would be happily proud, like. Pride comes before the fall. I know you heard that from him, right? Yeah, Most of the time. So, I mean, look, you're the only guy that gets – we got stopped when we were at the Big Ten media days. Some guys from, like, the East Coast, like Maryland. Remember that? Yeah. Stopped yeah. us and was like, you guys are crazy if you're not playing Kim. I'm like, <laughs> you remember did. when you were 10 years old, <laughs> sure man. Did. Ten years right. old. You're, like, legendary on the East Coast, man. So, hey, you're cutting your teeth and making your name right now. You'd be a legend in the Big Ten. Uh, how does that make you feel? Well, I got to get there first. And so, uh, you know, it's a, it's a grind, you know, that's a, that's a dream and that's a goal for sure. Um, but that's, it's, it's gotta be earned. And, um, you know, it's, I can't expect anything. I got to earn it. And so, uh, some, I got to go out there and, um, you know, definitely earn for sure. <laughs> yeah. So you, you guys had, you know, your family, you know, came, there was a lot of support. There was 15 people, you know, from back home that came, to watch the game your dad you know i just kept looking up at him he was he was you know he wanted it, success so much for you because he knows all the hard work that you put in it was just really cool to see but you know having all that family there and friends there supporting you you know what did that mean to you i mean that means the world you know i have i have you know biasly i have the best fan base behind me and that's that's really supported with my family my friends um you know they my, I think one of my parents come to almost every single game home or away and, uh, you know, just seeing my family there and, uh, you know, my little brother texted me before the game. My sister texted me before the game is definitely something to play for. Um, this, they're, they're one of my reasons why I play this game, why, I, you know, I practice and train and, you know, do everything I do at the, as hard as I can every day, just cause, uh, you know, without them, I wouldn't be in the position I am. And uh, they, you know, they set me up from six, for success as a young as a young kid. And um, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a blessing to have them behind me. Yeah, and they still say your sister's the most athletic in the family. So, <laughs> <laughs> but there's a big, there's something big that's 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 coming up. And uh, I don't know if you know this yet, but I think it's the Maryland game. Um, this is big cook off. That's that's gonna happen. Homecoming. Between- between Otis, Big O, Otis Sr., is Mr. Tatum in that too? Yeah, Mr. Tatum came back, back out because he be trying to back out. Yeah, yeah. And in that, and yeah. Dad, a big cook off. Your dad said he's coming early. He's coming on the game Saturday. He's coming on Thursday so he can prep, you know, for this for this cook off here. And Stray and I, we're going to be judges. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah. Hey, oh, I might have to miss a pregame show that week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what okay what we making what's on the menu do we know hey we got to get that line up we we'll, got to we'll get, get we'll get that line up ready and we we get we get, we'll get it ready we'll get it tight we'll, we'll give it more we'll give we'll give the fans and the subscribers and fans a good show so we'll get it right it's it's Mr. Tatum in this chat right now because he's he he's, is he's been he thrown is. in there so yeah. we'll get a we'll get a group chat with the with the four cooks 
and then you guys can plan what you guys are making. Sure, you and I are just there to taste. taste that's, <laughs> right. We do that well. Right, exactly. We do that very well. No, any any personal goals for, for you? I know that it's a team game. So what, what goals do you have for this team? You know, one, you know, we, we go into every we go into every game planning to win every, you know, every game we play on this schedule. Um, you know, every game is winnable. And we, we know that for a fact. And, you know, we, we expect the best competition this year. And, you know, we're going to give it our all every single game. We're going to bring it. Um, you know, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what what we want to do. But I know for a fact if we if we prepare like we're supposed to and we play like we're, we're supposed to, um, we, we can win every game. And winning every game brings championships. And that's something that we want to do. So, um, yeah, I think that, I think that's it for goals. It's, it's not too many personal goals right now. It's all about the team. <laughs> I gotta love it. You got to love it. Look, Noah, I look, we'll let you get back to prepare for Richmond. And we'll bring you back on. Obviously, you're a friend of the show. You're a surrogate. You got a stepfather in, in uh, Choo Choo. <laughs> <laughs> you're a surrogate. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what, what, co-parenting, what is it? whatever it is, <laughs> it's awesome. But like Tuesday night in East Lansing, go on, go on, do a little, have a little fun. <laughs> Tuesday, he got to prepare to. He's a yeah, quarterback. You're right, you're right, you're right. The quarterback staying, yeah, just hear the stories <laughs> the next day. Yeah, he ain't just coming in to run a one yard touchdown. Yeah, you guys. Probably oh, 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 shots fired! <laughs> shots fired! <laughs> They all add up. They all add up. <laughs> they do. They do. You paid off the boys. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. Hey, oh, no, man. do me a favor. Next time, as a big back, this really pisses me off. When it's fourth and one and y'all in the shotgun and the pistol. <laughs> I know there's nothing. I'm like, you don't say anything, but I'm just saying, you know, I go, go I'm a punch. center. I, I you you can't centers can't get can't can't trick a step and fire off in the gun. Because we're worried about it going over your head 30 yards. It's See, just one of those things. Yeah. We're softer. We're softer when we're in the gun. Look, Noah Smiles is like, look, I'm just going to score. It don't matter. So I, I let y'all tell me. Let y'all say what y'all want to say. Y'all heyday is like, hey, we about to score. I don't care what y'all talking about. That's well, appreciate you, man. Spending your time on Tuesday night, brother. I know you yeah, have to get up early, but appreciate I you, man. Appreciate you, Noah. Good luck this week. Thank you. Great Thank yes. All right. Go green. Go white. Noah Kim, everybody. QB1, Michigan State University. Look, hey, man, coming out party. That was a good one. Him being able to correct himself and then settle down and just look like the man. And you see it right there. Calm, cool, collected leader. Yeah, but I, he's a fierce competitor. You just know it. Like, <sighs> oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you just know I'm going to go out there. I'm going to do all that I can to win this game. And that's all that's all Spartan Nation is asking for is someone going out there to put it on their back, on their shoulders, and carry the team, but do whatever it takes. So some something I wanted to throw out there, and what we were talking to Noah and it was in the comments. Uh-oh. 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 It's, it's, it's just a tip to, to it's just a tip to fans. You know, they said that, you know, when we talked about the booing and this like they were booing Jay Johnson, not not the not Noah or the team. Players don't know that. Players hear boo when, when they're on the field. They're not like – the fans are like, boo, message, coach, boo, it's for the coach. No, it, they just hear boos. And they feel I like mean, can, 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 we be, can we be real, though? Like, if boos are coming out, they're like, clearly we ain't playing well. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, was like it, it was too early. It was but too I think to his point – Good ball club. To, yeah, to his point, the last year's stake was still on us, and it kind of gave you that – Ooh, Ooh. put it up there. Darius Snow, 368. I've been going through something. Be afraid. Ooh, this came wait. out. That's hot. That's that hot. is hot. That's Winter's a lot of days, though, too. Winter's coming. <laughs> <laughs> hold on. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> but, no, I, I think that it's an element of, like, they clearly Spartan Nation expect you to get that first touch and take it to the house. And set the tone, right? right. It, it takes it's, it takes some time to get this gel in, right? Just, you know, but yeah, yeah. yeah. But I you saw the response, though. The moved. response. Yeah, it's terrible. I think mean, good don't programs move, don't move somebody moved. in the first half. I mean, look, I, I understand Maybe uninspired close. football, but I I'll tell you one thing: nobody on the planet wants to win more than them boys in the in them uh, uniforms out there, right? Bro. 
Nobody. Nobody wants to win more than they do. They ain't out there playing games. They want to win the game. They right. Win. Tell they them. You know what? I wish. I wish you could just switch. Like, if you boo, you go go and just take their place and see if you can complete a pass. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> or even, yeah, or see even what it's like play under pressure. You know. Yeah. It's great. I learned something. Like you, when you talked about the the. The, the send you're softer, you know, when you snap in from there. I, I learned something about that. I just I was always just thinking, you know, of the back coming down, getting momentum, the line going. But yeah, I wonder why you think about that versus how I think because you're the back, right? You know, <laughs> right. No, so this no, is true. Yeah, yeah it's true. I never put myself in that, you know, like okay, is he really, you know, getting off like that? <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah, under center, you can you get off, right? You know what I mean. Cause there's no Listen, risk. I'm on, I'm on the side of my line. I pray that guy I'll score. So <laughs> we can go out there. The other dangerous thing on the goal line though is under center, and you try to call one of them damn outside reach them outside zones, mm. and the quarterback doesn't ride the center. That right. ball can come up short, fumble. You know, and, and look at that Duke Clemson game. The boy last oh, night. Oh yeah. Just that that mesh point fumbling, you know, looked like JJ McCarthy in twenty one in Spartan Stadium dropping the ball on the one yard line first and goal twice. Mm -hmm. Nightmare scenarios, man. Just get under center, man. Let's get it in there. Take two over the top. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey guys, uh, great no, show. No, no, these are PTSD. No, no, no jumping over the top. <laughs> PTSD yes. right here. Go get your book, everybody. You see that? Run. From Civil War to the NFL by Bill Burr. Hey, this is Chew's book, His Life Story. We just got one, Slayhorn Household. You guys need to get well, cop, cop it. Cop that. I'm taking Aaron, was it Amazon, Chew? Yeah. But you know what? If, I, I'm taking auditions for people for the auto book. So. <laughs> the audio book? You want to read it? It's audible. <laughs> that's, that's what it's, it's an audible. Okay, yeah. Check, check, check. Audible. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> the book's on tape. Yeah, it's on Audible. That's the site that it's on. All Where right. else can so you find it? You gonna, who you going to do it? Who's going to do it? Choose who's me to look. Otis got the voice. Otis does got that. James Earl Jones that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> man. Velvet voice. <laughs> A lot of pages here, baby. All right. no, awesome. Got to get that book. And don't forget to get that merch. Some of that This Is Sparta merch. Go to This Is Sparta msu.com go to our link in our bio get to the link tree right there and you can get the book you can get the, all of our shows everything's right there don't forget to click the like and subscribe button guys they're watching us in opelousas louisiana once again in the, in the, in the boot Opelousas. man in the boot man I need, some, I need some of them louisiana crab them louisiana Detroit, crab. <laughs> i want that crab ball yeah, a special special shout out to Sean Taylor and his grandfather Freddie. You know, had a little medical thing. We we're going to bring him to the game, and he's okay. You know, we did a little show for him. Remember, Grandpa? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, with this the beer the show. Hey, he's look. doing good. He's doing good. Had but little... think about this: we we spoke this into fruition when we were tasting those beers, and now two two of those beers are being sold in Sparta Stadium. So what? Yeah. Which ones? Talk Sparta. To Sparta, Sparta oh, is being talk bad. to me. Yeah, so it, it, it only makes sense. Yeah, and untitled beer. So right the show. Look at him, man. So prayers hey. up. Hey. <laughs> hey, hey, we had one uh well before the game, the day before the game, right? Wasn't it? The day what Sparta, yes. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah way they, before. They before. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, I did have that chicken sandwich the week of, but y'all had y'all had it after like the Friday, Friday or Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. Thursday, yeah, Thursday. Yeah, that was right. Our, our, annual, our, chicken, our annual chicken <laughs> sandwich. But I know look, we got we got to go. But Thursday, we're about to break down Richmond Spiders and look forward to it, fellas. Can't wait. Gonna break this thing down, fellas, guys. Great show for Ju Culkrick, Otis Wiley. I'm Jason Strayhorn. This is Sparta MSU. Have a good night. God bless you. Go green. Go white. This is Sparta MSU is a combined presentation of Playfly Sports Properties and Michigan State Sports Properties. The show is produced by Tony LaBarbera, Tony Gastella, and Process Driven Consulting. Additional support is provided by Brendan Duravage. On location technical support provided by Good Fruit Video. Be sure to follow our host, Jason Strayhorn, J.U. Culprit, and Otis Wiley on social media. To stay up to date with all the latest This is Sparta news, 
please like and subscribe by visiting our link tree and tell a friend to do the same. Thank you for your support. And as always, go green.